Hey guys, today I'm doing a review of Zhu Yang Bo, and this guy got 77% win rate, rank 1, and he won 17 out of his 20 games, which is pretty impressive, and has an average CS of 8.5 fucking CS per minute. Well, like, not per minute, but anyway, you guys get the idea, right? And that's like really, really crazy. Actually, it's per minute, right? I'm not even sure, but anyway. I'm gonna break down basically how he does it, and you can only do that by playing in a certain way. And I'll be showing you guys that, okay? And honestly, I think it's pretty impressive. I think that getting rank 1 of 77% win rate, and like that CS is really, really impressive. Even if you full clear, by the way, you don't get that CS. Just saying. So I wanna show you guys how you guys can actually get it. Of course, you need good mechanics as well, and be able to recognize what you can and can't do. But let's break it down, okay? So before we start, let's look at team compositions, okay? What does he want to do in the first place? Like, as a jungler, you have to think, okay, what does the enemy team want to do? And based off that, you'll know his pathing. And you can maybe think, okay, maybe I can evade him, maybe I can gank laners, maybe I need to be careful, whatever it is, okay? But let's see. I would say this game, from DDS perspective, top lane, I don't think he can do too much. Mid lane and bot lane is very volatile. He has, a, he has a Poppy and Fiora ball lane for some reason. So let's see, okay? If you look at this game, I would say that very likely he's gonna start topside and path towards both side and see what happens, okay? So let's just pay attention. I'll just lock my camera on him and let's go. Okay. We're just gonna look at his clear. It's not gonna be anything too crazy. Probably Raptors, Golem's Red Buff, I think. He does this because. If let's say there's nothing, he can take his raptors and golems again and have a better buy, buy, uh, buy basically. This is the common pathing for junglers if there's not much happening in case. However, I can tell you that, especially Chinese junglers, okay, what they always do, I, I played in Korea, there were Chinese server, sorry, Chinese players there as well. They are really aggressive. So when they're walking from, from here to their wolves, they're looking, okay, what's going on Bolan? Is this killable? Is this killable? They're looking at, okay, what can they do? They will not AFK farm. If they see a kill opportunity, they will go for it. If you look at bot lane, I would say not killable. These champs are a bit weak, so he's probably gonna keep farming, right? He sees Kindred here on the ward here. Now he's thinking, okay, can I invade him? Probably not. Bot lane, no push. And it's gonna be quite difficult, right? So he's probably just gonna full clear here. So this is what a jungler is thinking. When he goes from camp to camp, can I kill? Let's say he thinks he can kill bot lane, okay, for some reason. He thinks as well, okay, where are the wards? Can enemy jungler be there? And are they even gankable? If you watched my videos, uh, my Patreon course, you'll know the rules or a few of my coaching sessions. But in this case, nothing. So he's gonna full clear, right? Always do two camps together. As you can see, as Lilia. Very important to be efficient. And I'll show his runes as well, you see? Treasure Hunter, Dark Harvest, Boots, and Blue Smite. So right now there's nothing. <laughs> so one key thing as jungler. Remember before where I said that if, you know, you're pathing towards bot side, and you have no bot period or whatever, you can't invade. Same applies for when he goes for the crap. Right now, his support can't move. His mid laner is, I don't know, low. So this crap is... I would say pretty illegal, I think. Because right now, the main reason why it's illegal is because if someone is moving first in jungle, and even if Lilia wins 1v1, he's level 4 against level 3, it doesn't matter. Because if you keep fighting, at some point it's gonna be 2v1. So he has to run away. He cannot fight here. Okay, he died. Which makes sense because he has no lane priority. So the thing that you can do as a jungler, right? Before you go for river, look at, okay, can my laners move first? And if they can't, only try to take the crap and run away. If you can do that, okay? So he probably just tried to take the crap and get away. Um, he maybe thought that Zed was in base. Actually, no way, he, like, the Zed was even moving bot side. He, he's just burger clipping it. But the thing is that, but even if he burger flips it here, okay, he's gonna get 
insanely fit. He's gonna get like almost 200 CS at minute 18 or something. So I'll show you how he can do that, okay? So after a fuck up like this, the average jungler now is like, oh fuck, this is bad, right? Which it is. However, let's play and see, okay? There's Mr. Zumbo. So right now, always, buddy, if you're in the base, scan laners. While he's walking as a jungler, okay? You look at top lane, you look at mid lane, you look at bot lane. How is the wave states? Where can the enemy jungler be? Right now, Kindred in base can't do anything. Maybe, let's say that Cannon was more chunked, he could look for a top lane gank. But Kindred started top side, so it's difficult to look for this. So probably he's only gonna gank if he knows for sure he can kill him and Kinder is not there, which is not the case. So he's gonna keep farming. And it's an orange, so he can just catch the wave and play defensive. I do think that Kinder could dive him here though, because he's very low, but he can always TP back, worst case, okay? Okay, as you can see, um, he, know, he knew that Kindred started top side here, okay? And I think Kindred went for double crap. This is the information he's seeing. So I think previously he saw Kindred go for the top crap. So if Kindred here goes for the top crap, and then he bases, okay? His base timing is very delayed, and what's gonna happen is that Lilia has tempo to potentially invade him. Which is why he's doing what he did. So right now, okay, I'll just show you the cheat map. Okay, he's... Okay, he already... Base, I guess? He base... I went to Kinder base, actually. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But basically, as you can see, he's like a tempo on him. Oh, it didn't make sense to base. He literally already took his Gromp and Raptors, you see? So he's up tempo because it's a Kindred, and he took the top crap without basing. So he knows, okay, I have tempo. My support has tempo as well, he can move first. And he's going for I invade here. So by invading, this is super important, okay? By being in the enemy jungler, jungle, sorry, you can get so much information. You can, one, you can fuck the enemy jungler up. Two, if you're in enemy jungle, you can always gank mid and bot, and you're really close, you're always available. So if your laners are taking a trade, you can be there instantly. And you're usually, in general, dodging a river wards. And of course, you might kill the enemy jungler, and if you kill him, plus the camps, you get a significant lead. Okay. So right now, he knows he has tempo, and he knows that he will be here very soon. So I believe here, he's not gonna use all his abilities. He should be saving some of his abilities. He's gonna not use his W. This is important. If you invade, don't use every ability. What? Fuck, dude. Okay, this is troll. Like... Okay, I can tell you that if Kindred has flash air, he is fine. In general, if you invade and you know that the enemy team might be around, just use your basic abilities and don't use everything. Because imagine Kindred does have flash, he will actually survive here, okay? So if you're invading, don't use every single ability. I know it's fucking good, but even the same players make these mistakes, okay? Or maybe he just knows that, well, if Poppy EQs, he's dead anyway, and he doesn't need it. I don't know what he's thinking, but in general, that's how he should be thinking, in my opinion, as a jungler. Okay, so now this is key. He just killed the enemy jungler. And took his raptors. He's probably gonna take his golems as well. If you have the choice <coughs> of taking enemy camps, you should almost always do it. Because you can always take your camps, but you cannot always take his camps. So right here, he should take his golems. And the thing is that Kindred can never invade the Lilia anyway, right? But of course, before doing golems or going for the river, you have to think, okay, can enemy laner move to me? And is it an issue? So let's say Zed is gonna push this wave and move towards golems, it might be an issue. If Vayne is just gonna, let's say, drop this wave and come, it might be an issue. However, I think because Lilia and Poppy are together, it's fine. And why they're fine is because if you invade, if you watch my invading course, you know that he can escape through the vein. He can just keep running through the bot side and run away if needed. Okay? So as you can see, Zed can push and move. 
So right now, always have an exit plan. His exit plan is running either here or like through the vein because he doesn't get one shot. Because Poppy is here as well. And Poppy has W, right? But like, look, he was planning to run away from this side, but he saw his viewer ghosting and Zed is a little bit far away. So they, this is called a fast play. They're looking for a fast play here and get the fuck out. Okay. So they get his kills and honestly, they can even stay here. They just one shot them really fast and even if Zed is here, it doesn't matter. Okay. He just gets the poppy maybe. Okay, that's not bad at all. Okay, key thing here. He just got so much, okay? He got raptors, golems, he has 1.4k gold, very likely. He's gonna now take his bots at camps, base, and go top to bot. Because he wants to play mid bot. Let's see, okay? Because now it's so important that he takes his camps base. Or like, even if his top stays spawning, let's say very soon, he might even clear that. If his laners are fine. So you might wonder, how do I recognize when to base, when to stay? Um, let's say that he could have based after golems. He could have ideally based there, because then he has a lot of gold. If you watched my... It's not online anywhere yet, but um, it's my course as well. If you're like right here and you walk to the um, Gromp, it takes like 15 to 17 seconds. You might as well base, spend your gold. But he had to run away, right? So he couldn't do that. So right now I would say he's going to go for a full clear. And then he's going to base. Because his top six camps are spawning. If he bases now, he might lose it. Because Kindred has nothing to take. So, the enemy blue is spawning, but I think that he would probably need to base. Okay, okay, he, he sees Kindred here. Like, when Kindred shows like this, and Lilia's level 6, he can easily kill him. Like, Lilia after 6 is just pretty OP. 1v1 against Kindred. So, he sees him without blue buff. So, he's gonna go for an invade here. Okay, pay attention, pay attention. Now, I really, really think he's not going to use his abilities, because he even sees the Kindred. So as you can see, he's holding all of his abilities here. You see, he was holding his abilities. You do this if you're going to invade. One small tip is Lilia. Did you see how he waited for his ultimate? That is because he's waiting for his Q to be back up. So right now, it's Lilia always, okay? If you Q... You never want to ult instantly. You want to ult when your Q is about to spawn, so then you can do WQ again. Which is the main reason why he's waiting a little bit longer. So now his Q is going to be up, he can WQ. So a lot of Lilia players would ult instantly, but always look at your Q timer, okay? So you can WQ the combo. Boom, killed him again. So now, his camps are up, and I think he's gonna try to yoink it, unless Z plus Cannon is gonna move. Uh, I'm not sure, okay, but Cannon is showing here. But if Cannon was, let's say, missing here, he would not be staying here, he would get the fuck out of here, okay? So now, he has the luxury of taking only the blue buff. A lot of players in low elo, even in high elo sometimes, stay for this gromp. That is not good. If your base gets cancelled, when you have 2.3k gold, that's horrible. They get the Herald when they shouldn't get anything, okay? Make sure you never greet when you take an enemy camp when you need to base, okay? Make sure that you base, okay? And don't go for that one. So after this, he's gonna base ACP. And let's say he can get cancelled, he should run away a bit further. He's basing. Let's see where Kinder is. Okay, Kinder didn't bother to check. But if Kinder, by the way, cancels him here, he can take the Herald. So this is even close, okay? So keep that in mind, do not greet. So now he's super strong, okay? He knows now that Kinder has no more top side camps. And what he probably is gonna do, because he's down tempo, he's now gonna clear his top side camps and probably play for the Herald. He is really strong right now. However, if Kindred can invade his bot side, 
it's better for him to pink ward the Herald and clear his bot side camps first. But if his laners have priority and he can defend his camps, it's better to do the Herald because he wants to play bot side anyway. Okay? So you only do the Herald if you know he can't take your bot side camps. But if he can take the bot side camps, he should, in my opinion, put a pink ward and path bot side. And if your bot lane is winning, he can go for a counter gank and or invade him, you know? Okay. He was definitely looking at laners. I didn't look at that, but... He knows Orn has ultimate. He knows Cannon has no flash. He knows this guy is dead. Right there, he was pinging on the way top lane. Why? Has ult. No flash. This guy is gonna die. So, the perfect timing to go for a gank is to go when he goes for CS. Pink from Cannon perspective. He sees this minion, he's really focused on his minion. And that's as well when laners are walking the most up. Because let's say there's everything healthy, he can even stay here. Just saying that's the perfect timing to go for a gank. Boom. Okay. After this, he's gonna get the Herald. I'm pretty sure he saw Kinner on both side. So he's gonna go for Herald. And pay attention to his pings. Did you see what he did? He's going for Herald here, knowing that Zed might push and move. So here, he's ping his on the way to Herald. And he's pinging assistance on Poppy. You see? He's pinging assistance because he wants to get. Oh, it's Poppy pinging it, but. But I think Zoeing Bow is ping as well. Hey, assistance on Herald, so people know he's playing for the Herald and he's going for it. Always make your teammates aware what you're playing for. If you're not, they're not gonna come. Pinging in their face is even better. Yeah, let's play. So, as he takes the Herald here, once again, he has 1k gold. However, this is the key thing. He doesn't have to base right now. He has such a big lead that if he stays with his item for the next 2 minutes, enemy Kindred still doesn't have his one item. So if your camps are up and you don't need a base because you're stronger, you can stay around. But let's say he needs to buy his demonic, then he should have based right now. But he doesn't need to. And his camps are up. So he should be farming now. And recycle his camps faster. And this is how you get a lot of high CS and high pressure and high kills. Because he has a lead already, okay? So now he's gonna full clear and see, okay, can I do something? If there's nothing he can do, then of course he's gonna spend his gold. So right now I would say he has nothing to do. However, he wants to make sure that Kindred does not take the Drake. He just wants to make sure he doesn't take the Drake. And he wants to probably base after, because right now, he has 1.5k gold. If he spends 1.5k gold, that is quite good, I would say, right? And the main reason why he wants to base right now before taking Drake is because if he bases right now and then takes the Drake, he can then instantly invade and play an enemy jungle. But if he takes the Drake now and needs to base, he's losing a lot of pressure. Because then, he actually cannot play in enemy jungle, he will be sitting on 1.6k gold or something, okay? So this is how you have to think, whether... Especially if you're ahead. In general, if you have Herald as well, you want to not just pop the Herald and base. You want to pop the Herald, play in the enemy jungler and take his camps. Because it forces the enemy jungler to defend. When they defend, you basically get man advantage and you can look to play together and invade. Is he doing Drake? Okay, no, he's not doing the Drake. Okay, so right now he's gonna base probably. He has a lot of gold here, by the way. So he is gonna be basing here. And now again, from base, he's identifying... Okay, top, mid, bot. What's my win condition? He probably wants to play mid, bot. Enemy top laner does not have summoner still. However, honestly, killing a cannon again at this point is useless. Just secure the big objective. Uh, it seems like enemy team is going for Drake. I have a cheat code. Okay. 
But in this, they really want to fight this. Kid Lydia is so strong, and pay attention by the way. Kinder now is doing Drake without having based. What does this mean? Even if Kinder gets a Drake here, if Lilia plays to cancel his base, Lilia can easily dive a lane on every single wave that has the push. But this Drake is good from Kindred because if you're behind and you can yoink a Drake, it's the best. Because that way you get to scale, okay? However, they should not fight. They should run for their lives. Good choice. Very smart of them. So now, okay, Kindred, he knows that Kindred has the most shit base, okay? He has the most shit base. What is he gonna do now? He's probably gonna look to invade him. He knows that his top side camps are up. And I think he's gonna go for it. He has mid push, top lane can follow, and his camps are up. Or he's gonna go for full tower, I guess. Okay, he's going for invade, which in my opinion is better. But as you can see, he forced the Kinder to show. It didn't have to be Kinder, but anyway, he forced the Kinder to show, and now he takes his camps. And he has a good base. And doing these things will help you so much, okay? So right now, he is going to take his camps. Okay. Respectable. Okay. Let's go between the towers. That is possible. Okay, right now he is probably playing for the bot side, right? So as you can see, he's gonna path towards the bot side right now. And gonna take top crap. But now he knows as well that the enemy bot side camps should be spawning very soon. So after he takes this, he's gonna look to invade him on the bot side. After his raptors, I think. But let's see. Okay, all his camps are up, so he's gonna prioritize those first. And I think then he's gonna look to invade. Let's see. Okay, small tip is Lilia, okay? In general, objects and waves always try to aim at... Let's say there's a wave here, okay? Don't try to aim at this guy. Try to aim where he's like hitting at the wave, close to the wave. Because this is a pretty hit, hit, big hitbox. So sometimes champions are standing here, and I throw a ball like right here, it will still hit them. So always use walls and minions to hit enemy. So as you can see, it hit him. Ooh, that's close. I'm wondering why he didn't ult him instantly. To just to get this cleanse. Because then Vayne without cleanse is so useless. But okay, but his camps are up right now. I think he sh Okay, I mean he sees nothing yet. But I can guarantee you, if camps were up here, he would not take his Gromp. You would first invade, because, like I said, if you're invading, you can then look to gank laners faster, you can potentially kill the enemy, and enemy general can never take your camps. Okay, there's a fight here. Let's look how it fights, okay? Not shabby. So now, okay, I think he got a lot of gold. Okay, I think he definitely needs the base here. He has 2.1k gold. Key thing, even though, what are object timers? Even though his red buff is up, in my opinion, it's not that good. Because right now, it's so much more important as a jungler to be on the map and if any of your laners are winning, to be able to punish them instantly. So let's say he went for this red buff here, okay? And then he, I don't know, delayed his base timer. His laners can't play aggressive. When he's supposed to be, should, should, he should have winning lanes or decent lanes. So by basing instantly instead of taking camps, early game, I think it's fine to take. But around 14 minutes, that's when you can start applying the ping pong strategy. Where you can push and roam and dive every single lane. So not going for these camps was a good choice, because at this point, he can kill everyone. 
So now he is probably gonna play for the top lane tower. Or like, actually, wait, let me see. He's probably gonna clear his top side camps and play for top lane tower, I think. However, if he has a choice of invading the enemy camps, he will always do that. Is what I noticed. Because then he takes his camps, he can choose between mid or bot, and he can basically kill them. If they're playing aggressive. If they're not playing aggressive, he always has information on the Kindred. And the enemy laners as well are sweating because there's a Lilia in their jungle. But if Lilia clears his own camps, they're not sweating as much. So as you can see, he's literally invading, okay? And he's invading, and now basically he's drawing attention as well to him. And it's more difficult for enemy jungler to gank. Because now the enemy jungler can't walk this way and gank mid or bot. He's literally getting denied by Lilia. And he's just getting, yeah, screwed over. Okay, but wait, actually, I forgot to add an appointment. So I kind of have to, like, put it here. Uh, but it's already been 26 minutes and hope you guys got some good information here. If you guys like this, uh, make sure to just leave a comment below or uh, or like it, whatever, because it's my first time making it. But anyway, I gotta go. So make sure to like, subscribe or whatever it is, you know, and see you guys, boys.